Hello everybody, welcome back to Prehistoric Kingdom. Punches past me in the face. Here we're doing a, as you may have seen in the title, uh, in the title, a, a Psytechosaurus, uh, in this case SP, uh, non specific species, uh, habitat, Jesus, uh, and a Dryosaurus habitat. Both are unnamed habitats for now, they're just part of the Ornithischian Trail. Uh, start. Uh, but yeah, they're just both very simple foresty habitats. I had quite a bit of fun with this one. Less struggling, still a bit of struggling, but managed to work it out. Right here, I'm connecting the path to the staff area, and I'm gonna add the fencing because fences are beautiful. And here, fencing, very simple. Uh, yeah, here I figured out these are better, and unfortunately, I had to get rid of these. Tetecosaurus mongoliensis, the Mongolian parrot lizard, which is funny. But parrot lizard. It's weird because I have a parrot that is also a left out of my room. She is currently cleaning, well, preening herself, which is just biting her feathers. Cutie. So yeah, here, just pick out my favorite skins and. Uh, end up going for very similar skins. Uh, I end up swapping one out for another skin. I think it's... Mm, oh, I think I'm... Yeah, that, that one, I swap it out for that one. Yep. Yeah, place them in to start doing the terrain and foliage work. I end up doing lots of foliage, so the cinematics are very difficult. So like it's it's a small habitat with lots of foliage. There's a lot of intersecting, uh, well, foliage in the cinematics. Lots of stuff that goes through. And here I have some foliage, some rocks. I actually did manage to do the rocks normally. Uh, that's a Tachosaurus habitat. I think it was uh yesterday. Yeah, I recorded I recorded it yesterday. Uh, pretty late at night, I think. Like 10 p.m. Today it's 10 a.m. and I still haven't eaten breakfast or anything. So here I do the water dishes and the food dishes. I add some ice, and frozen treats, and a little outdoor shelter if they want to chill in the forest. Here I move the foliage. You can see the sign better. The sign that I really enjoyed making. Uh. So yeah, here I just uh, look at the climates to see which animal I could make a autumn-themed forest. Uh, wink, wink for the future. But yeah, here I save. And then this is the next morning, and uh, yeah, I look at this Dacosaurus. I add a little bit more foliage. I think too much foliage. I oh yeah, I know what I'm doing here. I try to get the coastal biome to their thingy baba and it ends up not working maybe it did work i don't know here i do my favorite batch of dryos and oh well, look at that a dark one fortunately we missed we missed a nigel marvin but and uh, quote but that's okay it shit happens and the dark dryo funny enough is called bane and uh, my brain went to the batman villain because like uh i think he says I was born in the shadows, which is funny because of a melanistic dryer. Anyway, I'm just pounding nonsense. Mm. <coughs> Here I do the females. And I do a little more because that's always what I do with the dryos. Originally, I was going to put the dryers with the sauropods, but like the Morrison sauropods because they're found in the same place. But a bit, but. While making this, I decided not nah, too dangerous. What if they get squashed? And did you guys hear? They're gonna add baby dinosaurs to this. I honestly cannot wait to see what the baby paras or baby lambiosaurs, and the baby ceratops, baby. Well, I mean, we know what baby stegosaurus looks like, but baby scalitosaurus. Uh, we know what baby dryo looks like. 
but baby Dinochirus would be honestly really cute. Uh, baby Velociraptor. What else? Baby, no, ooh, baby Protoceratops. I just realized something funny about Ceratopsy and evolution and anatomy. Uh, baby Cytacosaurus was quadrupedal. The more primitive ones are babies. The the, the baby <gasps> the babies were quadrupedal, but with Protoceratopsians like Protoceratops and I'm not sure the name of the other one. Uh, the babies were bipedal, which is funny. Hold up, here I pause for some reason. Let me just find out the baby one. Oh, Andriosaurus means tree lizard. A little bit. Oh yeah, here's where I struggled. A bit of information on dinosaurs. Hold up. Here I try to figure out how to add the plaza and the path. Yeah, lots of struggling here. I had to flatten out the terrain. I think it's yeah, it's Breviceratops. Where the uh, I think it's the discovery naming. Yeah, where it's just a baby, the specimen, just a teeny tiny bipedal baby, who is absolutely adorable. But yeah, the young Ceratopsians have habits of dying so tragically, if I remember properly, there's like a big bed of baby Protoceratopsians, just like all dead, and there's the Psytacosaurus one, where there's a bunch of, there was like an older individual, but like not old enough to be the parent, uh, and a bunch, like a bunch of babies which which scientists think is like a, a case of babysitting which is honestly incredible to think about dinosaur babysitting but yeah here I just add some sand and things here I try to add the rocks but it does the scaling issue so yeah, here I just add some gravel this gravel's cool I don't know what to say pretty much other than I'm hungry Add some foliage. Honestly, I love the coastal brush. I try to add some foliage, but it doesn't end up working. Uh, so here, add some foliage. I'm gonna do a bit of desert plants and a bit of scrubland plants, which fits most dry most of the dryos biome. I should actually check what other biomes there's in the dryo. Uh. I think it could actually be swamp. I could have done a so Huh, I just realized every time there's the wetland biome in an animal, I always go for a swamp look. I don't know why. Because in wetlands, there's also rivers and lakes. And swamps and marshes. Swamps, I, I don't know why I... Oh, enjoy the cinematics.
found in the fossil record, so I'm eager to see how much larger this one will get. Quite elegant, don't you think? They're especially cute as babies when they have big eyes and stubby noses, just like a puppy. Mm -hmm. 